to reach moksha, there are four pathways of to reaching moksha, and most of them are like bhakti yoga, those ones. And um, so, is, do you have? To, and most of them wanted you to be knowledgeable of God, that there's something beyond you. So, do you have to like realize God, or is it possible to reach moksha by being a good person and doing being good to others? You see, Hindu religion. This is the word that I keep, you know, using everywhere, left, right, and center. Is a pluralistic tradition. It recognizes. Look, it doesn't use the word God even. He says you can make spiritual progress in a variety of different ways. What, what do I mean by spiritual? In a way, rediscovering your essential nature as something quite different from what it appears to be. This is what religion is all about. Rediscovering my essential nature is something dramatically different from what it appears in the mirror. So what is that? So this is what journey is about. And moksha means breaking free from the delusion that you are this body and the mind. That's what the word moksha means. End of moha, moha kshaya. So the idea of moksha is to f f break free from the very limited idea I have regarding myself. So yet God didn't come in the, in the equation. God didn't appear. Moksha doesn't mean. But one of the ways you say you find moksha is again find God. Because what happens is when you find God, all your problems will be sorted out. You say, oh God, you're here. Oh, hang on to your finger. I'm safe. I don't need to think even. So you kind of break free from your limitation by encountering God. This is one way. But the religion said, you don't have to believe in God, even as she said, suppose you just don't want to believe in prayer or just want to be a good person. The Hindu religion said, go for it. One of the best ways you can break free from this very limited idea you have regarding yourself is through, if you like, selfless activity. Suppose you say, I don't believe in a God sitting in heaven. I see my God shining in the eyes of other human beings. And I like to, play, I like to interact with them and do something for them and interact with them. And that is how I become truly religious. I don't need to go to a temple and believe in a God and take coconuts and all that. I'm tired of that. I like to see God in human beings. This is Hinduism. See, not God in, a, in the heaven, but God in human beings. Jiva in Shiva. You see, this is the word we use. Seeing Jiva, seeing Shiva in Jiva and serving Shiva in Jiva. This is central Hindu teaching. It's not something on the sideline. It is main. So if a youngster says, I'd rather not believe in a God, but I'd like to see God as human beings in front of me, and I want to interact and do something for these human beings, do I mean that I won't get moksha? Oh yes, you will get moksha. And this is how you get moksha, to that process of selfless service. When you are kind of in love with humanity and you're working for greater good, do you know what happens? You begin to lose this grip that you have that you are this small being. You see yourself in other human beings. So you free yourself from this very limited idea you have regarding who you are. Oh, I'm just this young girl. I'm uh, you know, 17 year old and I'm doing this. All that idea becomes fizzle, fizzles down. And you see yourself in other eyes, in the other human being. You see yourself multiplied. This is called moksha. Without actually going to a temple or taking, believing in any god. Seeing yourself in other human beings. See, becoming, achieving moksha through the path of action, through the path of karma, selfless activity, breaking free from this very limited idea, I'm just me. It's not me, I'm everywhere. So when I do something for others, I can't even say I'm doing helping somebody else, I'm helping myself. I see myself reflected in the Look, the teachings of the Shiva tradition, this is the major, most important thing in the Shiva tradition. You see, a Vaishnavite can never say, I'm Vishnu, they'll, they'll throw him out of the temple. If you're a Shiva tradition, you can say, Shiva, hum. I see myself as the spirit reflecting every human being. I see myself everywhere. Shivoham. Only the Shiva tradition has this power. This is the central teaching. Central, it's not in the periphery. In the Shiva tradition, you can say Shivoham. I am that. So this idea of seeing and serving God in human beings, you know, seeing Shiva in Jiva and serving Shiva in Jiva is central in the Shiva. So you can become a, without, the Shiva is just a word, saying that I see myself reflecting on the human beings, the spirit. That's what Shivoham means. And that, see, is a path of moksha without reference to a god, without reference to a religion even. Humanism, but spiritual humanism, this is the power of this teaching. It's a lovely question.